State testing in West Point just wrapped up, and it was a busy day. WTVA's Chelsea Brown was at the Civic to see if the ease and restrictions had an effect on the turnout. As restrictions are easing for businesses to reopen and more people are getting out, more people are getting tested. I did speak with the Clay County EMA director about the importance of returning to West Point for more testing. Uh, the residents that's not able to um, either afford or don't have time or something like that. Tori Williams, the EMA director for Clay County, says the city and county have done a good job about getting the word out about the state testing. First Sergeant Keith Wooten says many people showed up to the Civic Center today to get tested. Well, I, what I can tell you about the numbers is that they're, they're extremely higher than it was the first time. Wooten believes more people are getting tested since many places have reopened. But now since everything is opening back up and they can get out, they would like to be tested. So Williams told me that the city and county are still asking for locals to continue safety precautions. That includes wearing masks, gloves, and continuing to social distance. He says the retesting efforts in West Point shows the city and county officials if their efforts to keep case numbers down are working. The efforts that we are, that the city and the county is doing, um, give them a, a chance to see if those efforts are working. The health workers are testing people who either have to show symptoms or have been exposed by someone with the coronavirus. Williams hopes that people who attended Saturday's peaceful protest get tested. And we're hoping that they do come get tested, um, and that's why another reason um, to have it open to uh, for those people to take advantage of. The next state testing site in our area is this Wednesday, June 17th at the Bancorp South Arena parking lot in Tupelo. In West Point, Chelsea Brown, WTVA 9 News.